Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and welcome to back to Satellite Lake. It's been a while since I've flown here, so I thought I might come back here again today. What I got for you today is I'm flying the WL Toys V303 Seeker here. Uh, what I'd like to do is fly the Seeker around the perimeter of this field. Uh, I don't have to worry about range with this quadcopter. If it goes out of range, it's supposed to come back to me. It's supposed to. <laughs> so we're going to test that. Uh, I'm going to fly out at about, it's not really far, maybe about 200 meters distant. Uh, maybe even go out a little further uh, if I get up the courage to do so and we'll see if it actually comes back to me if it does fly out of uh, range of the quadcopter um, I want to turn on well that's my timer in my pocket but I also want to turn on the, the camera for it and as you can see I am using the credit card camera again today I like how this mount works this mount you know, wiggles, it looks like it, it wouldn't work, but damn, it works well in reducing the jello, eliminating jello. It's a darn good mount for my Runcam HD. Okay, uh, I got the camera running. Let me get out my. What happened there? Okay, I don't know what happened there. I had a yellow light there momentarily, probably because I was upside down. Okay, setting the minutes to. So go for a five or six minute flight. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, got it running, putting it back in my pocket. Let's go for a flight. Unlocking. Now let's go for a flight. Now we got a strong breeze. I wanted to mention that, I forgot to mention that, coming from that direction. And it's doing a good job there. Just fighting that breeze. Okay, I'm not doing anything. That's the advantage of these GPS quadcopters. Uh, they more or less fly themselves. But I don't recommend. I still don't recommend them for beginners because there are issues and problems that you could run into, um, depending on that GPS. I'm going up a little bit higher, increasing the throttle. I actually shouldn't be standing directly underneath it either. <laughs> Sorry about that. And and going forward and going up a little higher. Now let's fly around the perimeter of this area. Turning left. Over that area there, there's a bridge over there. I don't know if you see that. That's the way I take to come in here in the wintertime months when this, when it's soggy in here. It's an alternate route. Now we're coming up the outer edge of the perimeter here. Now the way I'm flying is I'm noticing that it's moving off to the left. And with that in mind, I need to keep turning left to keep bringing it, start bringing it back toward me. And I'm trying to maintain a level altitude on the horizon. Um, if it's going lower on the horizon, that means it's, i got to keep in mind that it means it's flying away from me, slightly away from me, and if it's going up higher on the horizon, um, it's flying slightly toward me. So that's how I'm maintaining orientation while I'm doing this. Okay, it's moving off in the left, it's moving to the left of uh, what, the way I'm viewing it, so that means i got to turn it left to bring it to back toward me. i got to keep turning left to bring it toward me. That's how you don't lose orientation on the quadcopter when it's off, when you're flying distant flying like this. Um, I taught that in one of my other videos. I used an old WL Toys V2... 222? Yeah, V222. Um, great quadcopter, by the way. Great classic quadcopter, six axis. But uh, it's a good quadcopter to learn this technique with. Let's fly it, bring it back toward me. I'm going to keep turning until it it's pointing, it doesn't move on the horizon anymore. So now I know it's flying directly toward me. Boy, it's flying nice today. I hope it's nice and stable. Now I'm going to turn to the right, and it's going to be moving to the right on the horizon. Oh, I didn't check the lights when it went overhead. Let me do a quick check. Fly overhead one more time, and then I'm going to go clockwise again around the field. I'm flying overhead one more time. I just want to look at the lights just to be safe. I didn't see the lights. Let's bring them around. 
are correct. The lights are nice and steady. Okay, we'll do a clockwise rotation around the field now. Forward pitch, and we're going to increase the altitude a bit. Up a little bit higher. So the more I fly this V303, the more I comfortable I get with it, it with its abilities. It is a good quadcopter, by the way. Um, just keep in mind, though, you know, uh, it has inputs from the constant inputs from the. Uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> from the GPS, <laughs> and those inputs from the GPS and the barometer will cause a little bit of a wobble sometimes when you're flying like this. Uh, that's like that. <laughs> I saw it pitch up there for a second. It's flying nice though, huh? I'm way over the bushes, I know I am. Well, it's going upwind, and I. That's yeah, a five knot wind. I'm looking at the windsock here. That's its speed going upwind in the five knot wind. I'm almost full forward pitch here. I'm about 80% forward pitch. Let's bring you back. So that's what the outer peri perimeter of Satellite Lake looks like. There's, there's all kinds of weird stuff out here in the desert around this field. You're seeing for the first time what I've seen because I've never flown my smaller toy quadcopters out this far over the uh, bushes. Okay, I am very comfortable now with this quadcopter. Going overhead one more time. I want to look at its lights. And we'll do a return to landing demonstrate that ability. Let's go let's go up to there goes my six minutes. Six minute warning. Let's let's say now I've lost orientation. I want to bring it home. I'm going to hover. I'm slowly pulling back on a stick to just bring it to hover. Okay, let me turn off this beeper too. Start. Now I'm going to hit the return home switch. Come back home and let it land on its own. So for your intermediate pilots out there, this is a good quadcopter, intermediate uh, and advanced. Uh, still, no, I don't recommend it for beginners. I know beginners are going to say, oh, that's so easy to fly, I can do it. But I guarantee you're going to run into problems, so like you're, gonna, you're not going to know how to do that orientation that I was doing, that, that flying maintaining orientation as I was going around the outer edges of this, of this field. That's something you want to learn with, with a $30, $40 quadcopter, not with this one, okay? This is not something to learn at with. <laughs> and it's coming back down. You know, I wish I didn't, I hadn't taken off uh, so close to the uh, protection stand there. I'm going to be ready to take over manually if I need to, but no, it looks like it's going to be fine. Just in case. It looks like it's going to be fine. Very accurate landing. Nice return to home. And that's the flight of my Seeker. So that's a flight of my WL Toys V303 Seeker. The more I fly this thing, the more I fly it, the more confident I get in its abilities. Um, this seems to be a very reliable quadcopter. Uh, I'm sure there are others out there that probably have problems. I had problems when I initially got it. Um, it, it was not properly configured when I got it uh, in terms of uh, the controller. It didn't recognize the controller inputs. I had to update the firmware for it to the latest firmware and man or using that firmware um, uh, calibrate my joysticks to the quadcopter. They weren't properly calibrated at the factory. So I'm sure people are going to run into issues like that, you know. 
calibration issues primarily. That's what I had. But uh, once I figured that out and corrected that problem, I'm, I'm getting more and more impressed with this Seeker. It's a great, great quadcopter. Uh, uh, it does what it's advertised to do, and that's fly accurately. It does fly accurately with its GPS, it seems to, at least for me. So, okay, this Quadcopter 101, I hope you enjoyed this review. Quadcopter 101, signing out.